Hey everyone, so exciting times. I have just got my new WinCC Unified Comfort Panel. Uh, this came today. It is the MTP 1000 Unified Comfort Panel. So that's the multi-touch panel. And 1000 means it's the 10 inch variant. So I'm gonna open the box. Let's see what's inside and see if we can get it fired up. So I'll just open the label here. Tool. There we go. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh, nice. So we get some um, mounting uh, brackets here. So this is the mounting it into the back of the panel. And nice strong metal clamps. Not going to break or anything like that. And here we get the power connector, the 24 volts and also some cable restraint to see if it's in. Uh, there we go. Some uh, simple information about uh, using the panels, and of course the brochure, which hopefully you will be familiar with really from all of our other products in terms of the getting started, how to mount it, where the clamps go, uh, sort of thing, what angles are supported at what temperatures, whether you want it in landscape or portrait mode, all this information is quickly displayed to you. And there you go. That's how we display the clamps, and that's where the clamps should be going. Really useful little sheet for the person installing into the, uh, into the panel. We also get some discs, uh, which typically just uh, run the open source uh, software licensing conditions, because we have some open source software used on these panels. Ooh, nice. And the bracket for the cable restraints. Make sure we're not bending our coffee net cables or our ethernet cables going into the back of the panel. Have a look. Ooh, would you look at that? Nice. Just show it up to this camera here, get a nice little uh, screen. It's got a QR code on it there. Visit our website to see how you can get started quickly. Let's see what that does for us. Uh, camera. Get my camera app up, we should be able to scan that code. Oh, nice. This is taking me straight into the getting started for uh, accept the cookies. For the Siemens manual, general information, how to get fired, download the README file, installation manual. I don't know if you can see all this, but all this information is uh, come from just scanning the QR code on the front of the panel, fully explaining how to set up the panel and uh, all the links, the information you need on there as well. So that's really nice actually for getting started with the panel. Um, I assume though as well, yeah. So on the back, of course, we still have the, uh, the QR code there, which is ready and waiting for our industry support app. So of course, if I go to the industry support app on my phone, get the old QR code reader out, Put that over that code. There we go. This will of course take me straight to the uh, product page on our support site for this particular panel. So there you go. And of course from there as well, we can see information about it, uh, about where it is in the delivery phase, uh, details about this particular panel. And of course we get all the information for downloading certificates, manuals, CAD files, firmware images, uh, software, all of that's available from scanning that back. Uh, QR code as well. Nice, let's get this out. Get rid of this box. Nice, so we can see uh, on the back here, we've got our, uh, our interfaces that you'll uh, be familiar with, all conveniently labeled. So we've got two ethernet interfaces uh, on the back. One is a two port switch, and one is just uh, one port. Uh, we've got plenty of USBs for peripheral uh, devices to get plugged in. And we've got a 24 watt power and of course our RS485 42 connections. Just like the regular comfort panels, we again have SD card slots here. Um, so hopefully you can see this, but you can see we've got the one for the data. So if we do any data logging and of course the somatic SD card for system backups and recovery automatically. So yeah, looking pretty smart there on the back of the old uh, back of the old unified panels. Nice. Why don't we uh, put some power on this and see what it does? 
Got some 24 volts here. Let's turn that on. Let's peel this off. Missing all that lovely boot screen uh, that's occurring right now. Oh, that looks sexy. So there we go, that's now powering up. See that clear up here, maybe? Look at that. Nice powering up. Here we come into the operating system environment. This is the first time I've turned on one of these devices, so excited to see what happens here. There it is. There it is, operating system. Nice. Oh, what a lovely looking control. Oh, whoa, the touch is really good on that that is very responsive nice cool so we can see uh, what's going on here nice let's turn the brightness right up so hopefully we can see that better on the uh, on the camera uh, but we can see all the different properties we get configuring we've got our network settings here for our two interfaces why don't we try uh, downloading into it and see what happens. So I've got a network cable here. That's got me a green light. I've also got to see a portal fired up in front of me. So let's quickly add a new device. HMIs, uh, unified comfort panel, 10 inch. There we go, add. The brightness of the screen is lovely. Nice. Cool. Um, let's give it a IP address. What's it been set at? Even address 12002, that'll do for us. Let's add a quick screen. And just for now, let's put a button on there. In my keyboard. That will uh, click left. Stop runtime. Catch up on some reason. And we'll just give that a nice text there. Okay, so I'm not doing anything more than that. I just want to download it and see what occurs. Let's make sure we set that IP address to match. So we're on interface one. Ooh, nice. Uh, 192.168.0.2. Bat fingers. Dot two. Two five five. Perfect. The IP address, and this is all available. Okay, transfer, enable transfer, Ethernet, PNIE on X1. We're not doing an encrypted transfer. So let's hit the download button. PNIE, uh, interface one, start the search. Found the device, give it a load. Yes. Oh, we found it. It's down and loading. Ah, I have a compile error. Let's just quickly resolve the compile error. Ah, we're not going to do encrypted transfer. I just want to get something downloaded. Okay, 
Load the runtime. Load. Project download. There we go, loading completed. Let's fire up the runtime. There we go. And there it is, runtime running on the panel. So in less than 10 minutes, we've unboxed it, got it set up, plugged in, and we've downloaded an application to it. Uh, so hope you enjoyed that. Of course, this is a really rubbish looking uh, downloaded HMI. Um, of course, we have the fantastic HMI template suite with the wizard for commissioning these devices from scratch as well. And perhaps I'll do a future video on that too. Catch you later.